The Ministry of Health is working to develop guidelines that will address the issue of contraception use amongst minors, detailing what specific scenarios could allow health workers to offer such services. According to Dr. Stephen Kaliti, who's the head of reproductive and maternal services at the Ministry of Health, while discussions have centered more on the consequences of engaging in early sex, the energy should be redirected to educating the minors about sex. Raquel Mugai with more details. Healthcare workers, policy makers and interested parties met in Nairobi on Thursday during the release of the 2021 family planning data to take stock of the progress made in the country in regards to sexual and reproductive health. Adolescents make a very small proportion of people are taking a method and therefore we need to continue to advocate for adolescents to uh, free the services to be able to get uh, the services they require. How are we protecting healthcare providers? These adolescents go the issue of adolescents leading a heated discussion regarding access to family planning services among adolescents, those aged between 15 to 19 years, a category which, according to government data, continues to record high numbers of early pregnancies and which sometimes could translate to unsafe abortions. The current data released during the meeting indicating that four out of ten adolescents have engaged in sex, with the majority of them just being curious. If you see a 14-year-old, for example, coming to you and you are giving a contraceptive, for example, to cover three years, are you saying, me, it also goes against my ethic because I'm looking the other way as the child is being sexually molested or sexually abused. And that is where, as a government, we have to come out very strongly and I call upon the nation to support us in this so that we can protect our children because we have no future if we do not have children. The national and county governments have been squabbling over whether the policy of parental consent as a determinant for adolescents in accessing family planning services should stand, with counties arguing that some of the national government recommendations are tone deaf to the realities of teen pregnancies in the country. Where, where it has been tried in the absence of the parent, we have seen that sustainability or some of the very good interventions that we think about becomes a challenge upstream. As a practitioner, I have seen uh, adolescents being brought to hospital because they have a stomachache, but yet what they're having is rubber pains. So I think this opens a window for children parent conversation so long as the parents are attuned to it so long as the children are attuned to it then there should be no problems the guidelines dr kaluti says will address issues of contraception use among the minors based on certain factors to see that if somebody is a mature minor by the fact that you have become a parent by the fact that you are now responsible of decision making how do we deal with you Okay, because then in that case, it is not a question of your parents. It's a question of, you know, uh, whom you're living with. Additionally, the Ministry of Health is seeking to rope in the Ministry of Education to develop a guide on matters sex education. This comes as the country recorded an increase in use of modern contraception among sexually active and married women with implants and injectables, remaining the dominant methods of contraception among women. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.